We know that we want to find the inverse of b of t equals 1000 e to the negative 0.5t, which we know is going to be the reflection of that graph in the line y equals x. So that means that we're looking for the equation of this graph right here. This is b of t, and this is b inverse of t. Well, let's think about how we might do this. Well, we could divide both sides by 1,000, and then maybe we could take the t root of both sides. That would get rid of the t on the right-hand side in the exponent, but we would still have an exponent of t over here, since we know that the t root is the same as taking this to the 1 over t power. So that's not going to help us out at all. We actually need a totally new idea to solve this problem. And that idea is something that a Scottish mathematician named John Napier discovered in 1614. His discovery was something called a logarithm, or just a log. We'll look at some simpler examples first of logs, and then come back to this example about bacteria once we have all the tools we need to deal with it. 